good luck and momentum in his favor. Dennis is feeling confident to push his luck with Aria's owner. All right, so we're changing the upholstery on Aria because we're going with a different color scheme. And the hill he's prepared to die on is all about what the hell is wrong with those cushions? It looked like shit. Yep, the fucking seat cushions. I had just spent $12,000 on all new upholstery. They're brand new cushions in the cockpit and the salon, according to the owner. He didn't like the color. It looks like ass, and I had nothing to do with that. So he redid the upholstery. I'm changing them based on my desires. On my dime. If he doesn't want to pay for it, I'm still doing it. It doesn't need to be super brand new, shiny, with a price tag dangling in the breeze with a full warranty on it. It might be their boat, but when it's in my yard, it's my boat. So Manny, I, I told you I was having a problem with the owner. He said he just bought brand new cushions and he likes these and he wants to use these, but this is gonna be a charter boat. People are gonna be doing this all day long, getting up, swimming, coming back. We need something waterproof. We need something sturdy so they can sit on it. It's not gonna flatten out. He chose the color, not me. We need something pretty with the color, with this pleated material with white, blue piping around here, and then the stripes that we talked about, three sections of stripes. Whether he pays for it or not, I'm gonna... Let me take you into the salon right now and I'll show you these cushions. You guys give me some ideas on what you think of that. Okay. So if I have to pay for them myself, it's getting done. I'm gonna match it and if he doesn't like it, that'll be a conversation we can have. But I think at the end of the day, when he sees those color contrasting with the hull and the deck and the interior, he's probably gonna shake my hand and pay me for we it. We already started sending on the boat. We're using 150 to set it down to get it primed already. We're doing the whole bottom hulls on both sides, port side, starboard side. We got the bow still left and we got the transom still left. So right now what we're trying to do is finish up a little bit what we got on the bottom left and then we're going to come out to the front and finish it the rest. That's why I got the scissor lift waiting for me right now and these little horse cables, you know. We're going to go ride the horse here right now and finish. What we do is we apply blue dye. Now this blue dye, when you start sanding it off, any little spots that you see the blue is still in it, that's a crack or a little indentation that you have to fix with body work. And that's why you use the blue dye so it could point everything out. Once all this is sanded down, then we're ready for primer. Sand it back down again, then we're ready for paint. So right here we got the rudders. Even though I got them on blocks, we've actually had them all the way down to the floor and they still won't come out. So when rudders don't come out, the only other way to do it is the boat has to go up. It's an unfortunate event. It's one of those things that just drives me crazy, but there's nothing I can do about it. Once the rudders are down, they're going to set the boat right back down where it's at now. So that means I'm going to have to pick up the boat one more time so I can reinstall the rudders. Just as things seem to be coming together smoothly, Dennis arrives to inspect the progress on Arya's bottom paint. And as per usual, Dennis's keen eye for detail catches something. See everything you sanded? Look, that's just a little bit of it. If you look right over there, see it? All that drips. So in the industry, we call this the snowball effect. If there's one thing wrong, there's many things wrong. And then you got like buffing marks here. I don't know what that yeah, is. Yeah, he has to buff under there. And then over there, up top, my perfectionism is kicking in every time somebody sprays something. We got three days of little gnats and bugs and runs and drips or something like this, which is normal when you're doing a spray. Just got to punch it out and make sure you get all the imperfections out and polish it out. So when you deliver to the customer, it looks beautiful. And that's what we want to do. But now that I'm looking at the rest of the boat, I just see so much other stuff that really needs to be done. How come I go to a boat and within five seconds of being on that boat, I can point out everything that's wrong with it. And they've been on there for three weeks and still don't see it. It's because I have that eye for it and I'm half colorblind as it is. But when I come up on the boat and I know my scope of work and I check it out and I go to the side and I go to this side and I look at it on an angle when it's in the shade and when it's in the light and I put my watch on the paint to see if I can tell time with my wristwatch test and I do all of these things, I know without a shadow of a doubt I can give you all the things that are wrong with there within seconds, not minutes, seconds of putting my eyes on there. We're gonna have to do this all over again. There's cracks all over the bed. There is? Everywhere. Uh, Choco cracks everywhere. Maybe we should fix all the cracks and sand everything and prep it and then just get it ready for primer. When we're ready to spray, we just set up the scaffolding. I love that blue on that metallic. When we have our Seahawk product, which we're gonna put on our anti-fouling paint, and when that black goes on there and ties in with the silver and the baby blue, it's gonna look gorgeous. I mean, everything's really coming together right now. We still got a long way to go to finish off the project, and I have to study this and just kind of put it all together. It's in my head. Now I'll translate it onto paper and then sit down with the owner and go over everything. So I'm excited.
Let's do it. This is an opportunity for me to blow this guy's mind. And I know he's got such a big mouth because he's always yapping. He's going to be a perfect business card for me down here in Key West and wherever Aria takes him. Make no mistake about it. Each and every one of these projects the Fosters team is involved with is a momentous endeavor, each with a million little intricate details that all have to go to plan without fail. So it's understandable that from time to time, mistakes will inevitably happen. But as the old saying goes, today is history, tomorrow is a mystery. And oh, how prophetic that would prove to be.